you sink beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean, and that's just the beginning. Because down here, the rules are different, and the deeper you go, the stranger it gets. At just a few hundred meters, sunlight disappears, colors fade, and the water starts pressing in like it wants you gone. But you keep going. You pass wreckage, ships, planes, forgotten by time, swallowed whole by the sea. Then you reach the midnight zone. No light, no heat, no sound, only pressure, silence, and darkness. You'd think nothing could survive here, but it does. And what's alive down here doesn't look like anything you've seen before. Gigantic jellyfish glowing in the dark, fish with transparent heads, creatures with mouths that open sideways. Keep going. The pressure rises. It's now over a thousand times stronger than at the surface. If you were outside your sub, you'd be crushed in seconds. And now, you're 11,000 meters deep, the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth. You see the ocean floor, but it's not flat. It moves. Something shifts in the silt, then disappears. This is the Hadal Zone, a place so deep we've explored more of Mars than we have down here. In 1960, two men reached this point. They said they saw something alive. It vanished before they could capture it. In 2012, James Cameron came alone. He said it was like landing on another planet, silent, empty, and yet not. And still, we've barely seen it because no machine lasts long down here. So next time you stand near the ocean, calm, blue, endless, remember, you're looking at a place that's deeper than Everest is tall, a place that could hide anything, and most of it still does.